guys welcome to the start of another studio vlog i hope everyone's doing all right hope you're feeling okay yeah i just hope everyone's doing all right um hang on am i really zoomed in no i'm not <laughs> um there's a bit of a different setup going on because i had a new drawing tablet arrive which you probably have seen an unboxing video which i did um because my tablet decided to break tablet decided to break so um anyway it's here and it just means i've got a new setup to like how i'm sat i've had to steal my mum's desk um to kind of make it work so it's so makeshift at the minute because i keep banging my leg on the table um so it's very temporary until i can get to an ikea this i'm gonna have to figure out a new camera angle because it's all different. I can't get to my windowsill like you used to sit on. Today is Friday. I know I don't normally start a vlog on Friday. I normally upload the vlog on Friday, but like I said a few weeks ago, we've got a change in plan. <laughs> so I'm not filming every day. Um, and I really wanted to do more like story-based vlogs where something actually happens in the video. So this video is going to be the packaging and making products for my January Patreon boxes. So I want to start this video off with a disclaimer. I've probably put it in the title to this video, but if you're a patron of mine and you're getting a box and you don't want to see what's in the box, then you just don't watch this video. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put a timestamp on it because this video is gonna be all about Patreon boxes. So um, just, yeah, just go and watch somebody else. <laughs> uh, it's so hard for me to show what's in the boxes without people being upset and like in the Christmas box I did a, an enamel pin and I shared it and somebody shouted at me <laughs> for sharing it too soon and it's just like oh like at what point can you share these things so I've decided I will avoid sharing on social media like Instagram but here on YouTube I can do it because I can put disclaimers in place so yes if you haven't switched off by now, go and switch off. Um, okay, so the people that are left are either non-patrons or if you're getting a box, you're being nosy and you wanna see what you're getting. Either way, thanks so much for being here. This month's box is my Valentine's box, but it's not. I really didn't wanna do anything super sweet and like cliche valentines not that there's anything wrong with that it's just i don't really celebrate valentines really um and there'll be some people who get the box that aren't in relationships and aren't don't want to do the valentines thing so i kind of wanted to cater to everybody so although i've done uh, a theme that is slightly romantic i don't know whether that's the way to describe it it's not overly valentine's so let me give you some backstory to this box i had an idea earlier in the month by the way i'm wearing something super cozy so sorry about that <laughs> i had an idea earlier in the month that i wanted to do a girl character in like working in like a patisserie coffee shop cart thing with like blue beautiful flowers and i just liked this idea and i really wanted to draw something that I might have done back when I worked in animation or like not just the character I tend to just do characters a lot and I wanted to do like a little environment bit of props kind of thing so I had this idea and then my drawing tablet broke and I couldn't do the idea so this week has just been full-on kind of getting it down exactly how it's been in my head for weeks and I've not been able to do it and I finally finished it um, I could have spent longer on it, but it gets to a point where you have to stop um, because it's the 29th of Jan today. So I really have to get these boxes out. So I have this initial print that's going to be an A5 print. And this is kind of the, the main focal point of the box. And then from that print, I've taken elements to put onto other products. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you now. I'm really nervous. Um, I hope you like it. <laughs> So here is the print and here she is. This is her cart, like this is like her logo um, and she sells cakes and other little bits. Um, I shared the name of this, Ella Patisserie, on Instagram, which people liked. But then I still wanted to add like a romantic element to it and that's why I've got her kissing um, this person. 
So in terms of the other products, so there's going to be five other products alongside this print and I've taken them from this. So for example, this like a board here, that design, it says all you need is love. I've put that onto a greetings card. So that's going to be like a Valentine's card. And then this cake here, um, I have put this on a bookmark. Let me show you. So there's the bookmark. I then have the postcard, which is the logo down here. So I've taken the logo and made it into the postcard with like the car in the background. Um, so yeah, that is what I've been working on. So there are four items, the A5 print, the postcard, the bookmark and a greetings card, all of which that I'm having printed externally just because there's like 120 boxes, which is absolutely insane. Um, and to have all those things printed, it just makes sense to do it externally. Um, but I would also like to put in a sticker and a badge in the box. And those things I can make in house, which I'm going to do today. So that's really exciting. So I just need to work on those now. Um, I do have my mum coming in to help me. She always helps me with Patreon boxes because she absolutely loves it. Um, but I will say if you're new and you're sort of questioning how that's possible. Um, I, I'm in a support bubble with my mum. She's my childcare. <laughs> so when I'm here, Luca is with my mum. So um, yeah, she's in my support bubble. But Luca's at nursery today. So I said to her, please, can you come, come and help me? So I think she's on her way. So I think while I wait for her, I'm going to get the badge design set up and I am going to get the sticker design set up. I'm still a bit unsure what to do for the sticker, whether to draw something new or to take something from this. And then today is just going to be a making badges and making stickers day. And then hopefully Monday, all of my external printed things arrive. I've had an email to say they're coming Monday. Hopefully early on Monday, like knowing my luck, they'll arrive at like 4 p.m. and I won't have time to get them out, but hopefully early. And then they'll go out on Monday and Tuesday. So hi, welcome. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I hope you enjoy this video of me making these boxes up. Um, let's just get into it. Monday. Uh, welcome. Welcome to uh, a new week here. Oh my god, look how cosy this is. I just bought this over the weekend and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. So if I'm wearing this for the rest of the year, I'm not going to apologise. <laughs> I'll probably get asked. It's from ASOS um, and it's like part of their curve collection because, you know, girls are curve. But um, yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with it. Anyway, I'm sat here because it's so bright, so I've just moved over a little bit. Here's an update of what's happening. Friday, you saw, I was making stickers, um, but I don't know if you noticed, I was working on the sticker on Friday, and I want the sticker and the bookmark to be the same. So by the time I was doing the sticker, I'd already sent the bookmark off to be printed, bear that in mind. 
so I took the cake that I put on the bookmark and I was thinking about doing a sticker and I looked at it and thought oh, it doesn't look very good this does it sorry if you can hear someone talking in the background it's the guy in the next room um so I thought I'm just gonna redraw this cake I can do a better job I was rushing it I can do a better job so I did and I'm really happy with how it looks you might have seen the sticker it looks so much better and my mum was sat making badges and I said mum I'm gonna have to reorder the bookmark aren't I with this new design and she said yes <laughs> so I quickly reordered the bookmark with the newer better design but sadly I missed the cut-off point so it's not being sent today everything's coming today apart from the bookmark which is coming tomorrow okay I'm back <laughs> my battery died um, I didn't charge the battery over the weekend so that was a massive fail so I've just put you on charge for a little bit I've gone and made a TikTok <laughs> priorities Um, what was I saying I was talking about the bookmark so on Friday I realized that I could do a better job I redrew the bookmark and ordered it again <laughs> so they won't arrive today they're gonna come tomorrow which means I can't send boxes out today like planned but I can do as much as possible today I just I could have left it but you know when you just I just want everything to be as good as possible the problem is I've now paid for two lots of bookmarks but the good news is if you watched last week's video or the video before that I don't know where I'm at I talked about donating some notepads to a charity who are so grateful and they're so excited to get them um, I'm gonna put the bookmarks that come today in that package so that they get some bookmarks as well there's like 200 bookmarks there um, that they can give out to the girls so that feels good um, while I was on charge the package has arrived all the items are here so what I'll do is where should I put you I'll just put you over here um, and we'll get it open and see what's inside okay I'm gonna take this jacket off now because I'm quite warm so here we are so exciting right okay so we have the postcards they came out really nice with the little thing on the back and then the bookmarks which actually do look really good um, they look really nice I just want them to match the sticker I've done exactly so um, these will go off to the charity and then we have the print oh I love it so much it came out so nice look at that the quality is gorgeous um, so yeah, I have so many prints, <laughs> look at all that, um, so I purposely ordered more than I need, um, like a lot more, <laughs> just because it was cheaper to buy in bulk, but also, um, I put up all of the patron boxes in like a secret shop for future patrons to grab them, so that's good. Now, the only thing that's missing from here is the greetings card, and that's because I bought them with Moo.com, um, I've never bought cards with them before but I had quite a bit of store credit um so thank you so much if you <laughs> bought some things from me with my um like code I got a little bit of store credit so I bought the greetings card with them and they're coming tomorrow so the plan today is sign all of the prints put them in their backing card things sign the postcards print off the rest of the stickers make the rest of the badges and then tomorrow I can put the new bookmarks in and the greetings cards and they'll be done so that's good another thing that's just come which this is what I did the TikTok on I ordered some new stickers so by the time you're watching this which will be midweek I reckon I reckon I'll get this video up in the middle of the week um I'm sorry for how bright it is hang on okay it's really bright um this Sunday that you're watching it this I'm doing a big shop update I've got new prints badges stickers everything going into the shop um, and two of the stickers have arrived today so let me show you they're not new designs but they're designs that people have requested 
So the first one is my Duchess design, which is loosely based on Bridgerton because I love Bridgerton. I put some of these stickers in free with orders and people loved them. So um, I got requests to actually make a print of it and a sticker. So that's what I'm gonna do. But the sticker, I wanted to just make it really special um, and something a little bit different. So I've had them made and this, it's ever so slight, but first of all, the quality is gorgeous. It's like a matte vinyl, but I've added a slight holographic of effect on just the dress. Can you see? So like her body's not affected. It's just her dress that slightly is holographic. I'm so excited. And then the other one, which is my favorite, um, is this one. Now this is a glossy sticker. Her dress is glittery. And I am so thrilled with these two new stickers. Um, so they're coming to the shop this weekend. <laughs> I need to calm down now. So what I'm gonna do is just sign things, put things in packaging. I need to make up over a hundred boxes. <laughs> Ideally print the address labels off today so that tomorrow I can just be putting them in the box. So yeah, again, I'm gonna cut to another montage <laughs> of me making these boxes. Um, but yeah, I'm so thrilled with how they've come out. <laughs> I have signed all of the prints and I have signed all of the postcards don't mind the mess I'm so sorry and then here I have badges and stickers and I've done them all so we have 110 badges and 110 stickers I really think these stickers are cute and um, so this is the new cake design so it says I love you more than cake um, and I just think together it all just looks really nice. So that's everything I can do now until the bookmarks and the cards, got the greetings cards come tomorrow. So I'm happy with that. Um, I have to dash off though, because my mum was gonna come and help me today and she was gonna walk here and she rung me on her way to let me know that she'd fallen. Um, it's obviously very slippy and icy. Anyway, her arm is really swollen, so I am gonna have to drive her to the hospital now. I'm gonna leave here, get that done, and just hope that she's okay. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow to finish the boxes. <laughs> I really hope I can get them done tomorrow. It should be smooth sailing. If I come in first thing and um, like fold the boxes. I could even take some boxes home to fold tonight so that I don't do it tomorrow. We'll see. I could even come back here later on tonight. But I will chat to you tomorrow when the bookmarks are here, the greetings card are here, and we're packaging. I also need to tidy up again. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Hello, happy Tuesday. Do I look dishevelled? I feel really dishevelled. Um, it's Tuesday morning. I was out of here, I don't know what time I left here yesterday, was it just after three? Went straight to the hospital. My mum is okay, she's in a lot of pain, but it's not, her wrist isn't broken. They thought it was broken, but it's not, thankfully. So, um, she's not gonna be able to come and help me, which is absolutely fine. It just means that I also need to do everything here, look after Luca, and help her, because she can't drive, so, um, I'm a bit like all over the place with what I need to get done. Um, the bad news is I got a message from UPS. UPS, 
is probably the most frustrating courier that I've experienced. I don't know about you. DPD seem really good. Hermes are a bit hit and miss, but UPS, oh my gosh, the delays are crazy with those guys. So UPS are sending me my greetings cards from Moo.com. Sorry, my printer is just deciding to talk. It, the greetings card were meant to come today as well as like the second lot of bookmarks and they've just decided to reschedule to tomorrow. Don't know why, because the parcel's in Manchester. It's close by, so anyway. I can't do the boxes today like planned because I don't have everything. So I am not gonna panic. I am just going to make up the boxes. I'm gonna package some orders. I've had a couple of orders come in. I might even print some address labels for these boxes because I can do that. I'll know how heavy the box will be so I can print labels off. And then I'm gonna call it a day. And then I've warned Matt, tomorrow I am here all day because tomorrow I'm doing the boxes and they will all go out tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I've also just placed an order for some new notepads um, for my shop update this weekend, which I'm kind of cutting it fine, but the company I'm gonna go with are quite fast in turnaround. So I've done some test prints, let me show you. So these are the three notepads that I've gone with. So we've got the strawberry dress girl, we've got my elephant, sorry about the dirty paper. <laughs> Um, and then the Duchess. So I put a poll out on my Patreon um, a few weeks ago with the ideas and just sort of said, like, what do you prefer, like lined paper or unlined? And I put a poll out and it was like a split decision. <laughs> some people loved the idea of lined paper, some people didn't. So I've decided to do two lined and one blank and then people can just choose which one they want. So I'm really excited for those, so they should come in a couple of days. And that means that I now have three notepads, two new stickers, I have two new bookmarks, let me show you, which I've actually had since Christmas. I ordered these before Christmas and just haven't put them in the shop. Uh, we have this one, which is like a really nice sketch. I did this as a postcard for Patreon, but I've decided to put it on a bookmark. And then this girl, which was also a wallpaper I did for Patreon, which is, the new sticker. Hang on. So we've got the new sticker, the glittery sticker that I showed you yesterday. And this, this was the original dress um, that I did. And then I decided for the sticker to make it um, lilac. So those are all new. So I just have a couple of prints that I want to do, which I obviously do myself. I really wanted to do some new sticker packs, but I don't think I'm going to have the time. Um, so they can wait. Very, very, very exciting. Right. I need to make some boxes. Let's see how quickly I can fold 110 boxes. What time is it? It's 20 past 10. Can I do it in 15 minutes? We shall see. Okay, it's quarter to 11, so it took me just over 20 minutes. Um, but I have 100 boxes put together. And the wonderful Catherine, where is she? Kept me company while I was doing it. Um, so that's done. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, orders, I've got some orders to do, right. I'm gonna quickly get some orders done. And then I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna check on my mum, check if she needs anything. I'll be back tomorrow to actually do the boxes. Can you believe how dragged out this is? Um, yeah, let's get some orders done.
back. I'm back in the office. It's quarter to five. I was sat at home just chilling out and I got an email to say that my parcel had been delivered. The one that was meant to come tomorrow. So I thought about it and I thought, do I leave it and just spend tomorrow doing it? Or do I come in and have a late night and get it done tonight? And I decided to come in. I don't know if that's a good decision or a bad. I put all the lights on and I just thought, why don't I just have a cosy evening in? I'm gonna put a film on and package these boxes up. Um, I tell you what, let's put the big light on uh, just for now, just while we look. Oh, it's horrible lighting, isn't it? Um, and let's have a look what's arrived. So these are the bookmarks. Oh, they're so much better. I'm so glad I got them reprinted. So, um, these are the new design. Um, and the colour just matches the sticker perfectly. Um, because this was the first design I had printed. You see how much better this is? Um, so, I'm well chuffed. So, they're the first thing. Oh, I love how it's come packaged. So they've come in these separate little boxes. How good is that? Ah, oh, the colour is so nice. So, oh, I'm so chuffed that I went with these, this company. So this is the front of the greetings card. The feel of it is gorgeous. And obviously it matches the badge that I did. And also, hang on. On the print, if you look at the little A board down there, it matches. So I'm well chuffed with that. And then on the back, it just says, card exclusively made for patrons of Emily Harvey Art. And then I left it blank on the inside. So that's good, I've got them. And then I also got a load of envelopes. Everything's here. The boxes are ready to go. All the products are ready to go. I just need to start making them, so. 110 packages. Let's start. Quarter to five.
now much later. It's 20 to 8. And look at this. All of the boxes are full. <laughs> I went on Instagram Live, which you saw before. So thank you so much if you joined me. Um, I was going to go home, but I realised just how quick it is to get everybody's information from Patreon into my click and drop like postal thing. It's taken me less than five minutes. It's so simple to do with spreadsheets. So I've done that. I've applied the postage. I just need to pay and generate the labels. And I'm just thinking, why don't I just get it done now? It's 20 to 8. It's not as late as I thought it would be. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay for the labels. I'm going to print them out. And I'm going to stick them on. I'm going to seal them. And then I've grabbed a couple of postal bags. And I'm going to fill them. And I'll be done. I'll be finished tonight. <laughs> so let's pay for these labels first. Okay, so that's cost me about £250 in postage. Um, I just kind of want to let you know because some people, I don't think they factor in that, that um, like the boxes, this box is costing me £4 a box to send to the US. So um, I always doubt myself with the price of my... Um, my goodie box tier but then i have to remember like four pounds of that is going um to shipping so anyway that's paid for i have all the labels done so i just need to get them printing oh my gosh this is happening i'll set the camera up over here because i know people like to see when the labels are being printed <laughs> now a few days later i haven't finished this vlog so i thought i would come on all the packages have gone out some of them will be arriving today i am so terrified <laughs> um i really hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you like what i put into the boxes thanks for being here if you want to join my patreon i will leave all the details below along with all of the printers that i've mentioned in this video i will leave their details below so you can check them out remember i have new products going live in my shop this weekend so um if you liked the look of the stickers or the notepads um yeah just head over to instagram more information will be over there i'm gonna go now and get some work done but i will see you very soon for the next video thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon Bye guys.